Hello, Betty. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. Wanna hear? Sure. Historians have shocked the world today with the announcement that humans are really, really stupid. And that in all of recorded time, even into the hazy realm of folklore and mythology throughout the rise and fall of countless empires and civilizations, even with the benefit of historical documents and a clear view of the past, humans haven't learnt a thing. Nothing. In fact, if anything, humans are dumber now than they ever have been. This new information regarding the investigation into Japan's March 2011 nuclear accident. Investigators believe extreme heat in the Fukushima Daiichi power plant may have melted some key parts. The news has Tokyo Electric Power Company taking action. And now you're faking the disciplinary uh, somebody would say, you know, you've lost your right to be in this business. Officials at TEPCO believe that damaged parts impeded emergency responders from cooling down the number two reactor. The failure caused the reactor to melt down and release large amounts of radioactive substances. Investigators say the temperature inside the reactor exceeded 200 degrees Celsius at the time of the accident, a temperature hot enough to melt some key parts. TEPCO officials say there are other reactors equipped with the same parts. The utility plans to replace the parts with heat-resistant ones. You have abused the public trust. You have abused your clients. You've abused your employees. Uh, that's it. He bore witness. He announced that his employer <gasps> had done illegal things about which he knew since he had been directed to do them. Immediately after he did that, the New York Times has discovered, his file at J.P. Morgan began filling up with the complaints of clients of the bank that he was an awful person. Have a nice life, you're done. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant will get a helping hand in decontaminating its crippled reactors. Engineers have designed a new robot to assist with cleanup work in the reactor buildings before the plant is decommissioned. Misrepresented, manipulated, and now you're faking. Uh, somebody would say, you know, you've lost your right to be in this business. The robot was developed by companies including Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and the plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company. It can reach upper floors and deep inside the buildings. Workers have already been using cleanup robots to strip away contaminated surfaces, but the machines could not reach the upper floors. The new robot comprises four compact devices connected by hoses and cables that can extend up to 65 meters. The front part does the decontamination work. The two central machines supply chemicals and other materials, and the last one is used for communication. Tokyo Electric officials hope to deploy the robot at the plant from April next year. You have abused the public trust. You have abused your clients. You've abused your employees. Uh, that's it. Have a nice life. You're done. Teach it, put it in your middle where they cannot reach it. 
with Adam Lohr, who has a YouTube channel. I should be linking to everybody's YouTube channel. Hmm. This is Adam Lohr's YouTube channel, and um, you should go there. He makes cool songs. He made this backing track. He made the majority of it in, uh, I guess, Mario Paint, which is cool, uh, or something like that. And then I added some stuff and arranged it a little bit. I, actually, I don't think I, I... I did a little bit of arranging, not much and I wrote the lyrics. He gave the, the idea of the song, the title of the song, Emperor of Spheres, and he gave me this line from, I guess, that Nietzsche said, which is about a dog who follows you around whose name is Ego. And that's pretty great. So that's obviously where that came from. Hope you enjoyed it. <sighs> I've got more work to do. I just want to rest some more. Not good, not good at being sick. I should be resting, but instead, I've got work to do. So I love you guys. Thanks, Adam Lore. This was super fun. A little complicated in the beginning, getting everything set up. But otherwise, super fun to write and make. So here we go. Another day, another successful collab. Woohoo!